what up? This is an awful angle. Anyways, oh, and my phone fell, my gallon fell. Um, anywho, I am headed to the gym. Um, I don't have my car, it's getting inspected. So I'm in my mom's truck and like there's no good place for my phone. Um, her old truck. Um, anyways, uh, it's been, I don't know, a rough morning. Um, just kind of like in my own headspace, sorry for the bumps, I'm like holding on to the seat to hold the phone up, or hold the phone, um, just a little mentally drained, a lot to do before we go away to Vegas next week, and then we come home and like we roll right into Christmas, um, so trying to get clients situated, trying to make sure all of my finances are in line, um, to go away. I know that the inspection of my car needs is going to be a lot of money. Um, so that's a big part of it too. Um, and I'm not looking forward to that bill. Um, yeah. So I'm going to train legs this morning. Um, I trained glutes and hamstrings on Sunday, so I'm not really feeling legs today. Um, but I'm going to get after it instead of back and then I'll train back either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I would normally rest day Thursday and train tomorrow, which is Wednesday. However, um, I don't know. Tomorrow looks like a super busy day. Um, and I don't know if I want to cut my workout like only to an hour, maybe 45 minutes. So Thursday I have a big gap between like one to six. Um, so it sounds like a much more promising time to go train rather than only having a gap from like three to four fifteen. Um, so I think Thursday's going to be the day and then we'll rest day tomorrow. Um, I check in again with Shelby on Friday. He was happy with how things went. Um, Sunday, he actually wanted to increase my food. So we added some raisins. I believe I told you guys that already. Um, so slowly trucking away. I am excited to go try all these new gyms in Vegas. Um, we are just going to go to Dragon's Lair. But I think I'm going to try to like kind of gym hop while we're out there since we've never been to Vegas before and there's so many cool gyms out there. Um, so I'm going to see what's close by. Um, but yeah, I'm ner I'm excited um, but anxious. Like I want to buy some new outfits for this trip and it's just a lot of mental and emotional stress I'm putting on myself um, to get things done and keep growing my business along with keep doing this. And like, you know, just that internal dialogue is... I'm getting back to the old me that like used to really beat myself up and talk to myself negatively and that sort of thing. So I had a mindset call with my coach Alvin Brown this morning. Um, and that's, I'm not going to the gym a little later than I planned, um, or a little later than normal. I normally train at like 11 on Tuesdays. Um, so 1130, a little bit later, but it was a good call. He pretty much knew where I was at mentally from a lot of my journal entries. Um, but we got a lot of stuff covered and a lot of things of like changing my verbiage and my, what I'm saying to myself and how I'm speaking to myself, um, to kind of help myself, um, you know, do better and get stronger and not radiate that towards the ones around me or my clients or anything like that. So it was a good call, much needed. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, so I'm going to drink my pre-workout and, uh, we're going to go train some legs.
So just ran to the grocery store. Um, I didn't make rice today and I didn't bring extra with me. So I'm gonna be low on carbs. So I got some rice cakes. So I'll eat two or three of those since I only have, I think it's like, I don't know, two cups, a cup of rice in my um, post-workout, which is supposed to actually be, which is really only like six ounces and it's supposed to be 13 ounces. Um, so I'm gonna add a little extra carbs in. I'm going to let a friend's dogs out, friend slash client. Um, and then I'm gonna head home and hopefully hop on cardio before my three o'clock client. Leg day was good. Um, mentally was in a so-so headspace. Didn't have my headphones, but got it done. Uh, had a good leg workout, felt strong, increased some weights and some things. Uh, so my quad should be feeling that tomorrow. So feeling good about it. Glad I went, glad I stuck it out, got it in. And uh, yeah, here we go, continuing the day. What is up? Had that three o'clock client. I have an appointment in exactly an hour. I have 14 more minutes of cardio. Yeah. Um, quick shower, change, appointments, 25 minutes away. Um, that's at 5.30, client at seven, home for last meal. So we're gonna eat on the way to my appointment. Um, yeah. Uh, overall, solid day. I, uh, after my call with my mindset coach this morning and having like all these talks about like what you say to yourself, whiskey's coming out, she thinks I'm talking to someone. The puppy is sleeping because he's been today at my mom's house with her three dogs two of which are under two, and our brother's kids who are like 16 months old. So he loves playing with them. Um, so he's napped out. Anywho, um, it's crazy how like many things have been popping up on my feed today. Uh, just like speaking stuff into existence and changing the way you think. So like thinking in abundance, thinking that you're like saying your affirmations of I am capable, I am powerful, you know, I live in abundance, whatever it may be and how it completely changes your mindset. So when you get caught in that old way, at least like for me, I call it my old way of like beating myself up over, you know, losing a client or poor managing of my time. So I'm going to bed at 11 o'clock every night for the last, I don't know, week, two weeks, not getting up on time in the morning. So I'm missing my morning cardio. I love to get my cardio done in the morning. It sets me up for the day. It sets my tone for the day completely. And then I'm not doing it at night like I am right now when I'd rather be doing client work, editing content, that sort of stuff. Instead, I'm spending this Free half hour that I had on the fucking treadmill because I didn't do it this morning because I went to bed late last night because I was up doing shit that I didn't really need to do but I felt like I needed to get it done so I've created this negative perception around like you have to get it done tonight because there's not gonna be enough time tomorrow and you need to do x y and z in the next 24 hours instead of like hard cut off you need to go to bed and it'll be here tomorrow morning and you can get up early. You can hit the ground running after getting eight hours of sleep instead of getting up and feeling already fatigued, tired because you stayed up too late and it just snowballed into the next day. So like my day, as I talked about with Alvin, starts the night before. So when I go to bed late, it sets me up for failure the next day. It sets me up for that negative mindset, that poor way of thinking. So. I'm getting my cardio in now because I'll be done with clients by last night, seven to eight. She's not, she doesn't come to my house. So that means I have to drive home, be on my 8.15, 8.30, have one more meal to eat, drink my evening drink and go to bed. Shower, go to bed, shower again. Um, 
if I had to do cardio on top of that, I would have stayed at the studio, done it, got home even later, still had to do all that stuff. So prioritizing my time, I'm setting it up differently. I will be in bed by 10 o'clock tonight. I'm determined. I'm also determined to get another video out today. So I'm gonna go work on that after this for my last nine minutes of cardio. Uh, but if you take anything away from this day, I want you to think about how you show up for yourself, like how you are seeing yourself and how you're talking to yourself. Like what's that inner dialogue? Because if that inner dialogue is negative, it's going to set the tone for your whole day, your clients, your coworkers, your customers, wherever, your boss, your family, loved ones, dogs, whatever, like everyone around you is going to be affected by that. And not only that, like your limiting beliefs are going to hold you back. So believing in yourself, knowing what you're capable of and saying those affirmations aloud every day is something that I'm going to start tomorrow morning. And I'm going to watch my mindset and my overall view of my day and how I interact with others change rapidly because I know it's going to, because I know when I have a negative mindset towards myself, it makes everything else around me feel like I'm treading through mud and I don't want to be treading through mud. I'll push through. I know I got it, but like, I'd rather be like walking on top of some like mushy ground, not trudging through knee deep mud. So I hope that helps. I'll try to film my last meal tonight. It's yogurt and berries. The dogs like to tune into it. So we'll catch that at the end and then this video there. Yogurt. We're gonna do a cup and a half of this Greek yogurt. The dogs are waiting for their snacks. yogurt and then a cup of berries so I'm gonna mix blueberries and strawberries and then give the dog some good luck bro. dogs. Well, that's it.